these are pictures from the Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose International Airport in Damdam, Kolkata. Hangars are destroyed, runways submerged in several feet of water. The city cannot remember such dire sights in the last 70 years. Two generations of denizens claim that never in their lifetimes have they witnessed what they saw on the evening of 20th May 2020. For them, it is nothing short of the apocalypse. Category 5 Super Cyclone Amphan made landfall and its eye passed over the capital of West Bengal, wreaking havoc in its wake. Thousands of trees, electric poles, mobile towers and lampposts fell to wind speeds of up to 133 kilometers per hour. Roofs were swept off, large swaths of waterlogged lands electrocuted by torn electric wires. A 200-year-old heritage building where Rani Rashmani's descendants lived has collapsed. There is no cable, internet or electricity in most of the city for more than a day. The situation is set to only worsen in the coming week. More than 70 people are dead, with the damage being mostly in the north and south 24 Perganas, Midnapur, Hara, Hubli and the Kolkata metropolitan area. The Hasnabad Dam was damaged, flooding the entire area. More than 1 lakh people had been already evacuated from shores, their homes being swept away in the gushes of rainwater and seawater. Roads have closed off, mostly due to the hundreds of fallen trees. Locals are sawing off branches to salvage roads and wires. Waterlogged streets are impossible to navigate, especially for people who need to get out of their houses to work. The problem is exacerbated by the continuing lockdown in red zones of COVID containment and people are now worried for food and drinking water. The hostility between the Bengal government and the centre has led to large-scale apathy in the coverage of this national calamity. There is little to no help yet from the centre and the response of mainstream media has been appalling. In the morning, the city has woken up to clogged drainage, rotting animal corpses, their crops and houses destroyed. A relief package of rupees 1000 crores has been announced for the rehabilitation of the state, while the Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has announced an amount of rupees 2.5 lakhs per head for the families of the deceased. She has asked the Prime Minister for a state visit to assess the damage wreaked by the storm. Meanwhile, the Home Ministry is sending a team to the state of West Bengal to assess the devastation. The reeling state hopes to slowly recover from this disaster and is looking for a ray of hope.